doctor. Why is my mother not here? So with the increasing prevalence of mental health issues in the society, we are seeing an increasing number of agitated and aggressive cases uh, in the hospital setting as well. So therefore, it is really very important for our healthcare workers to be equipped with the necessary skills to manage agitation well, to prevent repercussions not just to the patients but also to healthcare workers as well. It is often very difficult for our students to experience firsthand what is it like to manage agitation in a clinical setting. So therefore, it is important for us to start developing this idea of using virtual reality whereby we do our very best to simulate an environment that's immersive for the students and by using real-life case scenarios and voice actors to create an environment for students to manage agitation in this virtual clinical setting. So we have chosen clinical scenarios that are very relevant to real life and the scenario that we have incorporated into this virtual reality program is that of a female patient with drug-induced psychosis I knew it! You're going to throw me in jail after I fall asleep! creating chaos in the ward and demanding to be discharged against medical advice. So for instance, our students need to choose various options that will end up having different repercussions and outcomes. This makes them choose their options more wisely and more responsibly. So through the use of virtual reality, our students can actually explore the various ways of managing agitation in a risk-free environment. Students uh, are more confident and they are more competent in managing our patients. VRAP is a joint project between NUS Medicine and NUS Nursing where we use virtual reality to teach students in managing aggressive patients in the clinical settings. VRAM is a program that consists of e-care which is actually a didactic lecture together with a hands-on session where students learn how to restrain patients safely and then followed by using virtual reality to actually engage the aggressive patient in the clinical setting. It is a fictitious patient that we are putting in, but at the same time, it is a real situation that we as healthcare workers face daily. The nurses as the frontline worker, they are always faced with um, different type of patients in their daily practice. Knowing how to engage the aggressive patient or agitated patient is the most important Using this VR program, they will be able to use the skills gained from this practice to actually engage the patient in a more empathetic manner. I think this is a great experience because we really get to experience such cases. So this is a chance for me to experience firsthand. This was a very safe environment for me to make mistakes and understand the consequences of my actions. 